Alrighty, everybody, we got um, another rabbit hole to go down. So we're calling this the Race Against Time Service Now Exploits CVE 2024-4879, CVE 2024-5217, and CVE 2024-5178. So these vulnerabilities exist. Patches have um, been put out, but um, the bad guys are looking. So the short story is ReSecurity, which is a cyber firm discovered that threat actors are actively taking advantage of recent vulnerabilities affecting ServiceNow, which is a platform. Asset Note Research Group originally discovered some of these vulnerabilities. I don't think they discovered all three, but they discovered uh, maybe a couple of them. And ServiceNow is offering patches, but the bad guys are looking. And so the summary really is that threat actors are exploiting these uh, ServiceNow flaws they're trying to steal credentials from government agencies, firms, um, I think financial institutions, healthcare, anyone. They're just looking for anyone, but they're looking. And so despite the security updates that were released on July 10th, um, from some quick searches, tens of thousands of systems seem to remain vulnerable. The exploitation details include payload injections and some data database content checks leading to exposed plain text credentials. So the CVEs that we mentioned earlier, I'm just going to call them by the last ones, 4879. This has a CVSS score of 9.3. It's, um, it involves enabling unauthenticated users to perform remote code execution on multiple ServiceNow platform versions. So the attackers are exploiting this vulnerability by chaining um, the bugs, and the, which is leading to full database access. So CVE 5217 has a CVS score of 9.2, which allows unauthenticated remote code execution. So you can see where maybe these two can be chained together to help the bad guys basically get in. And CVE 5178, the CVS score is 6.9. This allows administrative users unauthorized access to files on the web application server. So even though it may not be as severe, it still can lead to um, data exposure risk. So here's some of the terms that are in some of the articles that we read. So again, the bleeping computer articles are my favorite most of the time. And so um, definitely recommend that you read the articles so that you can learn a little bit more about cybersecurity and, and this specific vulnerabilities set for ServiceNow. So anyway, so uh, arbitrary data access is a type of vulnerability that allows attackers to access data that they shouldn't be authorized to view or modify. Um, this can include sensitive information, so your standard customer data, financial records, proprietary business information, so security numbers, um, that kind of stuff. So what is an authentication bypass? It's a type of security vulnerability that allows the attackers to bypass authentication mechanisms and gain unauthorized access to a system or application. This can occur due to flaws in the authentication process or weaknesses in the implementation of security controls. And then here's the CVSS score that we were just talking about, Common Vulnerability Scoring System. So this is a numerical rating that reflects the severity of a security vulnerability. So the scores are from 0 to 10. We saw two 9-point-somethings, and we saw 6.9. So you can see where this needs um, almost pretty much immediate attention, and again, patch, patch, patch. Database content check. So this is one of the ways that they said that the bad guys are trying to take advantage of you. And so this is a database content check is a process of validating the data stored in a database to ensure its accuracy, consistency, and integrity. Okay, it involves examining the actual content of the database tables and fields to verify that the data meets expected standards and business rules. So they're taking advantage of this um, to try to infiltrate all right, info stealers, this is type of malware designed to steal sensitive information from infected systems. This can include login credentials, financial data, personal information, more. So when you kind of do the payload stuff, um, you can. this is some of the stuff that this will help you steal some of that sensitive information. Um, patch hotfix, a software update released by a vendor to address security vulnerabilities or other software bugs. So as we mentioned, ServiceNow has offering patches. They have actually patch their own systems. So if you're a cloud customer and you're not hosting your own servers, 
ServiceNow is indicating that they patch their servers for you. But if you host your own systems, you definitely have to take care of this part yourself. So payload in the context of cybersecurity, payload refers to the part of malicious code that carries out the attacker's objective. It is the portion of the attack that delivers the intended malicious action, such as downloading the malware or stealing the data. And so what's a payload injection? Payload injection involves inserting the malicious code or the commands into the system um, by exploiting the vulnerabilities or the weaknesses that they are aware of um, to, to take advantage of you. Privilege escalation, this is the act, the act of exploiting a vulnerability to gain the higher levels of access or permission. So once they get in, they're trying to get higher and higher um, so that they can access more and more sensitive information. So the attackers often seek to escalate these privileges um, to gain administrative control or access the sensitive data. RCE. Remote code execution is the type of security vulnerability that allows an attacker to execute the arbitrary code without being on the property. So the vulnerabilities can have severe consequences and they can give the attackers complete control over your affected system. So this part is the part where you have that discussion about role-based access and limiting um, privileges of your employees. So if you are attacked and you are infiltrated, you can kind of contain it. Don't give everybody admin rights. WAF, Web Application Firewall. This is the type of firewall that helps protect um, applications from attacks, do the best they can, and this is the web applications, okay? So it filters malicious traffic and blocks attacks like the cross-site scripting and SQL injection. And then zero-day exploit or vulnerability. Now, these are not necessarily zero days because it sounds like the bad guys once they found out about the vulnerabilities, they're trying to attack. So they didn't, I'm sure the majority of them did not know about the vulnerability beforehand. This was, um, this is information that they received after. So this is not a zero day, but anyway, a vulnerability, a zero day is a vulnerability that's unknown to a software vendor or security research because no patch exists for a zero day vulnerability. Attackers can exploit it and they can compromise your system. But again, uh, we, we know about these vulnerabilities. Patches are available, but people are still trying to take advantage of the, the organizations and the people who have not patched their systems yet. So here's some organizations that are mentioned in some of the articles. So shodanhunter.now. These are um, search engines. And so Shodan is, is one that's similar to Fofo, which we'll talk about in a minute, which is kind of like, a, I think, the Chinese version of it. That allows users to find internet-connected devices and systems often used by cybersecurity professionals, threat actors, for research and recon. So you can go to Shodan, you can go to Hunter, Hunter Now, and you can put in um, some prompting terms to find servers of special things. Like you can just basically say server. ServiceNow, and it will try to find them. So Nucle, it's a vulnerability scanner um, commonly used by security researchers and pen testers to scan targets for known vulnerabilities. They're um, kind of same thing, there's custom templates and stuff like that, so that'll help you find those vulnerabilities. ServiceNow, that's the company that we're talking about. They're the unfortunate um, organization that had a couple of vulnerabilities. They're doing the best they can to mitigate it. They patched, they did their stuff. And so this is a company that helps manage um, workflows for enterprises. It's a very well-known and widely used platform. Most companies, I would say, probably are using this. And so this is a um, this is a good target. So ServiceNow is utilized by many organizations to manage IT service management also, which means that this makes this a even more enticing target because if they can get in, they can uh, maybe get into some of your IT stuff, your ticket system, and and stuff like that. And so it, it's uh, probably a little enticing for them. Resecurity is the cybersecurity firm that um, discovered that the bad guys or the threat actors are actively trying to infiltrate people who use ServiceNow servers. Um, they they do analyze cyber threats. They provide threat intelligence, and they work to protect organizations. So, nice job for catching that, and thank you for monitoring. And then asset net, note, um, this is a research group that discovered um, one of the vulnerabilities. I thought they they discovered two, but it's just one. So it's four eight seven nine. Um, 
and two other related flaws, but I don't think they're the ones that we mentioned. They published a write-up about the vulnerabilities, which led to the creation and the spread of the exploits. So GitHub, a popular online platform for hosting and sharing code. And so this is where third actors will um, they'll upload their, their exploits, their working exploits, for other people to access. Uh, FOFA is the Chinese network search engine used by security professionals and threat actors to locate um, devices and systems that may have these vulnerabilities or just to locate them at random. And so some of the mitigations, so ServiceNow, they did address these vulnerabilities. They released patches and hotfixes. Um, they, they, the sources strongly recommend organizations using ServiceNow apply these updates immediately to protect their systems and data from potential attacks. So ServiceNow did the best they can. They, once the vulnerabilities were brought to their attention, they, they created the patches, they have the fixes, they took care of the servers that they're supporting. So if you're a cloud customer, um, they probably you're probably okay, but if you host your own servers from ServiceNow, you need to go in there and do your due diligence and take care of that and patch that stuff. And then, so some of the other things you want to remember, always focus on role-based access. Make sure that people only have the access, the systems that you have only have the access that they need to do their job and their task. Update or change your passwords and enable multi-factor authentication. So if you have a ServiceNow system you might want to consider updating your passwords and you might want to make sure that you have multi-factor authentication enabled you want to continue with security monitoring and you want to patch 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 and so again the credits that uh, the articles that I read is I went to ServiceNow site I went to bleepingcomputer.com and read their article on the ServiceNow RCE flaws and I did read something from Imperva but I don't um, I didn't really integrate that into this article, but I did read it. And then thanks to meta.ai and playground.com for my few images. And so again, it's a race against time. If you use ServiceNow, if you host your own servers, you need to get in there and take care of this. And um, if you use ServiceNow online and or self-hosted, make sure that you consider updating passwords, enabling multi-factor authentication, and try to be safe out there. Thank you. See you later. Bye-bye.